This is for 1983 Tops Baseball Wax Pack number 150. Good luck to Martin, James, Phillips, and James Hector. Here you go, guys. Good luck. Five on the random. One, two, three, four, five. I just came up with an idea, guys. I just came up with an idea for a giveaway. I, I don't know if I can implement it somehow. You guys can help me with the details. Okay. All right, so here's my idea. Um, I don't know how many of you guys play craps, but Basically, on the first roll, you want to hit a seven because you win automatically. If you don't hit a seven, whatever number you hit, whatever, let's say, for example, hold on, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to randomize this anyway. So. so let's say we're not at a roll, right? It's an eight. It's not a seven. So now I have to hit an eight in order to win my money or my double my money whatever it may be uh so now the eight gets placed it's locked <clears throat> if i hit an eight i win and i get to re-roll to start a new a new set i guess you could say if i roll a seven at any time after i roll my not my number that's locked i automatically lose anybody who puts bets on the table loses their money so i can't roll a seven again um so I'm going to try and incorporate that into why I have here is a stack of cards that I can give away. So what I want to do is somehow... <laughs> I'm trying, Rick. I'm trying. What I'm trying to do is get a pop going. So if I roll an 8, now I hit, let's say... Uh, okay. Now, let's do something else here. Let's do a very old card. Whatever I have here. Or a Munson card. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Like, I have this 77 Reggie Jackson. Right, 77 Reggie Jackson. So, I locked a number. That's my number. So, I'm going to put it here on the side. Um, if I roll anything else, any other number, let's say I roll a five, then I add another card. I think that's how I want it. If I had to keep adding a card, how do I do it? So you guys help me out. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to basically bank, like keep banking and getting more cards. But if I roll a seven, I stop. It's done. The stack is done and it, it will go out to somebody. Now I have to figure out how to pick that somebody. So I'm gonna start off with the Reggie Jackson. So that's what I'm gonna, so you guys think about it. Help me out with the details. I wanna do it. But I did roll an eight, and that's for the random. Uh, uh, roll? Oh no, I did roll. Yeah, I did roll it. I'm about to break. <laughs> Where's my list? Yeah, there's my list. <laughs> Thanks, man. You could be my my first volunteer. Uh, so I got James Hector, Lauren Gross. Who's doing this? Yes. Joseph Phillips. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I already ran my list. Okay, good. I want to make sure I already send it out too. I did. Okay. Draws. By the only entry during the crap session, when you crap out, the drawing is closed and the list is randomized. Go for a short period, it's a small stack. Go for a long run, it's a big stack. Maybe the longer you roll, the better the cards get. Okay. Okay. So. Five dollars in entry during the crap. When you crap out the joint, so if you spend five dollars, 
You can spend five dollars. Wait, what do you mean, Charles? So if if you spend five dollars, who gets in? People get in, and so and then okay, so okay, okay, it's like a five dollar bonus, basically. Wait, would involving getting in before it started? I like the five dollar entry. Yeah. Okay, okay, so it's like a five dollar winner take all without a cap. All right, so if you spend five dollars, you get in, and then I roll. I'll lock that number, um, and then I'll keep going. I, I keep adding cards until I crap out. If I crap out, then I'll take that stack. I'll randomize the list, and then the first person on top will get that stack. Okay, but so. Okay, so you have to spend five dollars to get it. Okay, so let's 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 finalize it. Let me uh, pause it. Pause it real quick. All right, let's break this pack. James, first card for you, right here. Bruce Berengi, first card out. Thanks, Neil. Card two, Vance Law. Vance Law. Guys, 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball is back on our site. I don't know if it's back or for the first time. I'm not sure. Card three, Scott Sanderson for the Expos. A little off centered. I want to start this at two o'clock, guys. The craft session. We'll start it at two o'clock. We'll finalize the uh, the rules after this break. Don Baylor. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to pull a Ryan Sandberg. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Nikki V, of course, always. Fernando Valenzuela. Very nice. I nice centering on that. Part six, Ron Oster. That's AJ Pratt. Keep track of two. No record keeping. Just anyone who purchases gets a roll. If they hit, they win. If they miss, you add a card, and that roll is done. Okay, we'll try that at two o'clock then. Maybe you guys are down for that. Bert Blylevin, Hall of Famer for the Indians. Yeah. Bonus card. <laughs> Tom Bergmeier for the Red Sox. Neil, you know your stuff, my man. You know your stuff. I like it. Card nine. Victory leaders with Lamar Foyt and Steve Carlton. All of them are Steve Carlton. All right, so what should the entry be? The entry, I think, should be... The minimum here is $15. The minimum here is $15. So we should make it $15. So right now, we go upstairs. The minimum for a table to start playing uh, roulette or craps is like $15. Jeff Reardon. John, is there a way uh, I think you, you can email us, John. You can email us, Sam at VintageBreaks.com. Oh, you don't? Oh. So, John, uh, who can you email? Who can you email? Call the office, John. Call the office, 732-828-2261. Doug is there and Rob is there. So maybe you can tell Doug what, what, what the issue is. And, uh, he'll, take some, he'll take a message. Charles, nah, man, we, not, we, we got in and we went straight to sleep. We were exhausted. I was kind of like dozing off on the trip here. But there was no traffic, so luckily we got here pretty quickly, about an hour and 15 minutes. And taco, all right. Let's play some poker. John's very private. Oh, um... 
All right, John. So I say not today, but maybe tomorrow. Because today I'll be breaking all day. Because uh, Mike is not here today. Mike is here tomorrow. So I'll be available to be in the background. Mike Schmidt. Very nice. Mike Schmidt. Uh, right now it's Sam, Layton, and myself. Tomorrow you just add Mike. That's it. Last card. Tom Sear. Nice. Tomorrow it'll just be Layton. Oh, sorry, Mike. Same people, but just with Mike. Sunday as well, too. There you go. James Phillips pulling on Tom Sear. Very nice. 83 tops. Baseball pack 150.